Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to properly make gears using the gear mates and some equations. To do that, we start with making a new assembly and there we can make an assistant sketch with some center lines. We can do it on the front plane. So let's make one line horizontal and one under an angle. We can dimension it as, let's say, 135 degrees. Hit OK to exit the sketch, and now it's time to, to input our actual gears to do it. Insert parts, we'll look at, and let's say we take our M4 26 teeth, 20 degree pressure angle as our lift gear. This will be here somewhere on the left. The one next to it will have the 60 teeth, and let's say on top we'll take one with only 14 teeth. Once these are, these are in, we can float that one, and now we can still move everything around, of course. So since this will live in a 2D space, we can eliminate our Z-axis. To do this, we just mate our gears to the front plane, the same as our sketch. Go to the front plane of our gears, hit OK, and we do this for all our other gears as well. Everything to the front plane. And our last one, front plane. Once that is okay, next thing will be positioning all our axes of our gears to the points of our sketches. To do this, we can activate our temporary axis. They're right there. They can be activated right, right there. Once these are activated, you can just select the axis, use control key, select the point, and then mate them. We do this for all our gears. Select the axis, select the point, coincidence, and for our last gear, same thing. Axis, point, coincidence. Once that is in, all what is missing is the distance between our reference circles. To do that, we create some equations. Equations, let's say we we'll call one the x. The x is the radius from our 26 teeth together with the radius of our big teeth, 26 teeth gear over here. To do that, we can just expand our part. And if you use equations, you can select your pitch circle diameter, add it with the pitch circle diameter of our next gear. And then, of course, we still need to divide it by two. Just put it on between brackets, divide by two. That's, that'll be our distance for our first section. For the next section, we have this distance here. Let's call this one Y. Y is from our second gear. Same thing, pitch circle diameter. In addition with the pitch circle diameter of our last gear. Equations, pitch circle diameter and we divide it by two. Once we have these values in, hit OK. So now it's just a matter of putting the right values and connecting them to the, to the sketch. So edit the sketch, smart dimension, hit the equal sign, and that'll be our x value. And for this one here, we of course have the Y value. Wrong, Y, Y value, hit OK, that's it. So now everything should line up with our points. Exit the sketch, hit rebuild, and now we see that everything comes into position. Final step is lining up all our teeth. Because now everything just turns around 
without actual uh, connection to the neighboring gear. So first I'll put these in a separate folder. We call these the, the base mates, so base. And now we can just line up our gears. To do this, we use an assistant sketch in our gears, the alignment sketch right there, which consists of two lines. One goes in the center of the valley, valley and one in the center of the teeth. So now we can just rotate it till it's in the desired position and we'll make it um, a parallel mate. That's the one. And for our big gear, this will be the desired position. So it means that this line needs to be parallel with that line. Let's do that again. Select them both with the control key. And now you see that everything is made it perfectly. We do the same with the one on top. Big gear is already mated to this one. So now we just need to create a parallel mate for this one. So this is the desired position for small gear. We select our two lines, make them parallel. And same here, we have it in position. We'll put these in a new folder, call these the, the reference position. Now everything is of course fixed and it cannot move. That's no problem. First we'll add our gear mates. To this bring up the gear menu and go to mates gear. Here we select for the ratio, let's say our reference circles of the two gears. Here they immediately bring in the values in the ratio. Um, since the ratio, it doesn't have any units, so you can put in whatever you want. I prefer adding the number of teeth, so you can just override it and add the number of teeth by yourself. 26 here, this one had 60. Input your 60 and hit OK. We do the same for the little gear gear. Here, the same thing. We select our reference circle from both gears. We didn't select the gear yet, so let's bring it, redo that. Gear, reference, reference. It's in there, and then we change it to T60, and the little one had 14. That concludes our ratio. You hit OK, exit, and now we see that we have two more mates here, the gear mates. We'll also put them in a folder. That will be our gear mates so to move them with these gears gear mates active it'll take the reference position now from the ref position mates since they're lined up now we can suppress these and now because of the gear mate you can move everything around according to this ratio and everything will line up perfectly always so once that is done, how do you change to a different gear? Very simple. Let's say we'll, we want to make this gear here a, a little one. We'll make this a, a 14. The sketch will auto update. So all we need to do now is lining everything up because now of course this doesn't line up. To do this, we suppress our gear mate activate the reference position and we see now that this lines up already perfectly same on this side but it doesn't stop there under gear mate your first gear mate here um, still needs to have the right ratio to do that we edit the feature and we change this one to the proper number of teeth which was 14 for that one i believe hit ok exit the mate so with the ref position active, this is all all right. We activate these gears, gear mates, and now everything is locked into position. So now you can suppress these and everything moves just as it should be. So that was it. That's how you made gears. Thank you for watching.